Ah, Stella, what are you doing in the bathtub? Ah, what do you think I'm doing? I'm taking a bath. What are you doing with your underwear on? The water's cold. Oh, <laughs> Will you get out of that tub and put your bathrobe on? I've got the bathrobe on now. You're wearing your bathrobe in the tub? Sure, I don't want to get my shoe wet. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. What are you doing in the bathtub on Thursday night? Ah, but I forgot to tell you, but Lynn Barrett, a beautiful movie star, is coming here for dinner, and I'm going to have a big, swanky party. Oh, are you expecting people? Certainly I'm expecting people. What do you think I'm going to do? Have a flock of cows? Not flock. Herd. Herd what? Herd of cows. Of course I heard of cows. I'm no dummy. I mean a cow herd. Well, I can't have a cow herd. I just say nothing to be ashamed of. All right, all right. Let's say no more about cows, please. I'm not in the mood. What mood? A cow mood. Who cares if a cow moves? Maybe you want just a little kitten. All right, look, look, forget about the cows. You don't know anything about cows in the first place. Who don't? Wait a minute, do you know what a cow gives? No. A cow gives milk. No, she don't. You've got to take it away from her. I, all right, we understand. <laughs> That's the first thing you've said right. You take the milk from the cow's udder. I beg your pardon? The cow's udder. <laughs> the cow's udder what? Costello, you take the milk from under the cow. You mean the crankcase. Oh. So... That's, that, that's the thing that's fastened to the cow's skin. No, 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 not skin. Hide. Why should I hide? I didn't do nothing. No, 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 no. Hide on the cow. How am I going to hide on a cow? Listen, a cow on listen, top listen, of a listen, cow. Just a minute, that's please. Me. Listen to me. Hide, hide. A cow's outside. Bring her in. Let her listen to the program. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Quiet. Here comes Ken and Mrs. Nye. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. You too, Costello. Are you surprised to see me? No, ma'am. I was expecting a cow. <laughs> what? I, don't, I mean, another kind of a cow. What? Another kind of a cow. Oh, Costello, I'm not a cow. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Whoa! <laughs> Will you stop that, Costello? That's no way to insult Mrs. Nile. You know a better way? <laughs> now, just a second, Costello. I'm getting red in the face. Where are you getting the blood? Oh, are you calling my Kenneth anemic? Why, just look how grim he is in that blue suit. Why, he looks like Gainsborough's blue boy. He looks more like Ginsburg's bellboy. Oh. A pretty shade of blue, ain't it? You're a fine one to talk, fat though. Me, fat? I just dropped 20 pounds. Just drop it far enough. Oh, now, let's stop fighting, please. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Niles, Costello invited Lynn Barry to the house, and he needs some help with dinner. Oh, well, I might be able to help. I've been cooking for 12 years. Uh, you ought to be well done by now. No, 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 no. Get that kisser on that kid. You see, you see, Mrs. Niles, what Costello really needs is a butler. You know where we can get one? Well, uh, my uncle runs an employment agency. Well, that's fine. Here's the address. Just go over there and ask for my uncle. Oh, that's very nice, Mrs. Niles. What's his name? You go. Ask for it. Yes, ma'am. I go, but who do I ask for? She told you, you go. I know I go, but I gotta ask for somebody. Well, I told you to see my uncle. Uncle what? You go. Now, don't say that again. Don't tell me I go. Stop saying I go when Mrs. Niles says you go. All right. You go, and I won't have to go. Costello, you don't understand. My uncle's first name is Hugo. Oh, why didn't you say that in the first place? What's his last name? Guess it. Why should I? What? Why should you what? Guess his name. She didn't tell you to guess his name. Mrs. Niles, didn't you tell me his name was Hugo? Yeah. What's his last name? I said guess it. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Is it Murphy? No. Is it Jones or Smith? No, no, Costello. Guess it. Costello, I told you for the last time. You go guess it. And you go you guess go it. You go jump in the lake. No, no, no. Oh, close and all. I'll do nothing of the kind. Come, Kenneth. Well, Costello, they're mad again. <laughs> now you've burned your bridges behind you. That's okay. I won't show it my coat on. Oh, come on, nonsense. You've got to have a butler for the party. Now, uh, here's Mrs. Niles' uncle's card. Uh, call him up. Boy, this sure is for a, a funny phone number. Hey, what does it say? Established, 1903. <laughs> that isn't a phone number. It's right here on the card. Oh, no, nothing of the kind. That's the year he started the employment agency. He founded it in 1903. Oh, he founded it the business? Who lost it? Nobody lost it. But how could he found it it? If he didn't lost it again. Costello, I said he founded it. Can I help it if you don't speak good English? Yeah, Costello, please, you should be ashamed of yourself. Mr. and Mrs. Niles were kind enough to tell you where you could hire a butler. I was uh, kind enough to explain how to contact the man. But did you appreciate it? No. All you do is stand there and give me silly answers. Oh, I'm a bad boy! You 
certainly are. Don't tell my scout master on me. Well, I, I should. Oh, if you do, he'll take away my scout pin. Gee, Abbott, anything but that. I have one pin for courtesy. I got one pin for bravery and one for safety. Wait a minute. I can see the pin for courtesy and the pin for bravery. Where's the pin for safety? It's falling my pants up. No! Oh. All right, come on, Costello. <clears throat> the Hugo Gasset Employment Agency is right down this hall. Now, let me handle this, and I'll get you a butler. Now, look, Abbott, I'm just expecting Lynn Barry. Why do I need a butler? <laughs> but a butler in your house will make you more stable. Stable? Certainly. Just picture a butler in his livery. What I got, a house or a livery stable? Did I? You don't understand. He'll make you distinctive. He'll give your house a certain air. What am I hiring, a butler or a skunk? Oh, come on, shut up. Now, come on in the employment agency, and let me do the talking, please. Oh, Lynn, you've got to get me a maid. My maid quit today after 15 years. I've lost my maid. I've lost my maid. Hey, mister, mister, why did your maid leave? She caught me kissing my wife. Costello, look, please, never mind him. Let's talk to the clerk at the desk. How do you do, gentlemen? What can I do for you? Well, I'd like to hire a butler. You'd like to hire a butler? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, you mad, impetuous boy! Ah. <laughs> All right, brother, don't knock yourself out. <laughs> I just want to hire a butler. You just want to hire a, a butler? <laughs> what am I laughing at? I mean, I <laughs> oh, you fool! Why don't you ask me for a date with my wife? Okay, but one thing at a time. <laughs> now, I'll have to ask you a few questions for my file. First of all, do you work in a defense plan? No, I don't. Then how can you afford a butler? <laughs> do you own any steel mills? No. Polo ponies? No. Steamship companies? No. I'm in a rut, ain't I? <laughs> now, listen, Clark, we're in a great hurry. Haven't you got a butler we can hire? Well, there is one, Judson. But right now, he's over there. Mr. Morgan built the millionaire is talking to him. Now, listen, Judson. I'll give you five nights a week off and a thousand dollars a week. All right, make it seven nights a week off. I'll give you my car. I'll do your laundry. All right, you're hired. Now, please stop twisting my arm! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's looking. Lucky fellow, he's got a butler just by a twist of a wrist. Uh, uh, look, Clark, this isn't helping us. We've got to have a butler. Lynn Barry, the movie star, is coming to dinner tonight. Lynn Barry, coming to dinner? Oh. So you'll be putting on the dog. No, we're having roast beef. <laughs> what kind of talk is that? Come with me and see our manager, Mr. Nazaro. Uh, right this way. Mr. Nazaro? Yes? This is Mr. Abbott, Mr. Costello. Costello would like to hire a butler. You want to hire a butler? Good heavens, man. Don't you realize that butlers canter off the salary to meet? And he can't reach the self from to reach the self from to work to me? <laughs> It isn't that I want a base to save for the boss's salary to pay this for the bravery's salary. And maybe he'll be reclassified. <laughs> you don't understand. Look, Brown, didn't you tell Mr. Costello that the castle raises saw the mice bite? Hasn't got any pork? And didn't you tell him that the reach of salary is with the homeless old minor man? <laughs> didn't you tell him that? Yes, I did. You didn't say that, brother! <laughs> now, don't interrupt the man. That's right. I'm trying to show you that that's what a to me. Now, not that the castle. Or ain't fall and celebrate my face. You get the picture I'm painting? Yeah, but just smeared it up in the middle. <laughs> Costello, he's trying to tell you that today most people are doing their own work. Even Cary Grant washes at his house. Yes, Costello, do you wash? Certainly I wash. What do you think I am, a slob? <laughs> no, no, all the picture stars are washing. I passed Stan Sheridan's house yesterday, and I saw her washing her calibrate for Ross and Salt Fill the Field of <laughs> And even a little gives you a bit of over a cavern cellar. Don't you wash your twang until pulled in the I do, but the buttons break off. <laughs> Never mind your buttons. Never mind my buttons. What do you want me to do? Be a pinup boy? <laughs> Mr. Costello, let me ask you a question. A question. When you had your last butler, did you pay him Baba Dick? No, I only paid him Baba Dick. <laughs> Why didn't you pay him Baba Dick? Because she didn't, did it? <laughs> Look, Costello, now let's not get nasty. I'm trying to tell you there's a shortage of men. Butlers today aren't just a cat for force with a celery and a hypnic rail. Why, even my butler cats have lost the trade. I tried, I said to governors, did you ever sell a force of these? Bring my conjuring, bring my sepulchre, bring my caution. 
And he won't even live in the mail at first. You see what I mean? <laughs> Frankly, I'm a little confused. <laughs> Why don't you pay attention to the man there? That's what's confusing me! <laughs> well, I could put it another way. You could? But would you? <laughs> now, just a minute. You can't come in here and tell me how to cat a horse and sell a mail box. Or even horse and waited. When you know that I'm the only one in France that's stated, what do you think I am, a captain? <laughs> it's men like you that catch a horse and sell will have everybody caught with him in a sailor base. And they're the hitting ginger, did it, did it, did it, so I'm Fuddle Tuttle! Fuddle Tuttle? That doesn't make sense. That don't make sense! Of course it does. It certainly does not. Of all the ridiculous things I've ever heard in my life, it's Fuddle Tuttle. All right, brother. What would you have said? I have said, we're changing force get this hmm, to calibrate the moment. <laughs> That's the word I've been trying to speak of! Get out of here! Well, Costello, come here. What are you going to do? Here it is, the night of your big party for Lynn Barry. And you haven't got a butler. Yes, but we did get a cook. Yeah, I'll that. call up the kitchen and tell her what to do. Now be careful what you say now. Hello, kitchen. This is Mr. Costello. I want to talk to my cook, Mrs. Blank. What? She did? At four o'clock in the morning? Wow! How much did it weigh? Nine pounds? At her age, too. How do you like that, Abbott? Mrs. Blank got up at four o'clock this morning and ate a nine-pound turkey. No. I never heard of such stuff. Hey, Costello, that must be Lynn Barry. Lynn Barry? Don't get excited now. Take it easy. I like her because she's a big girl. I know, I know. All right, now, don't get excited. Boy, boy, at last. I'll go to the door. Who are you to come in here and question Costello's official standing? 
After all, I sprang from nobility. And you didn't spring far enough. Ah, no, 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 no. No, you no, didn't spring no, no, far no, no, enough. No. I'll have you know that my family is very prominent socially. My father has a country seat in Wembley and a city seat in Devonshire. Your father has two seats? Yes. Does Ripley know about it? Uh. Costello, be careful how you talk Abbott, to me. don't you start talking uh, like that. Now, brother. wait a minute, please. Make it more pronounced with oh. Costello. All right, all right, Costello. That's better. Be careful how you talk to Mr. Treacher. He's a polished gentleman. Sounds like he's shellac. <laughs> you don't understand. Now, look here. I'm from Eaton. You're from hunger. You're impossible. <laughs> You're absolutely impossible. Hey, you're nuts. Ah, yeah. Over here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mr. S- Mr. Treats is an educated man. He's a linguist. Yes. You I... told me he was English before. Yes. A linguist. Linguist. What's the difference between linguist and English? Never mind. Wait a minute. I can't say out. either word Quiet, anyway. Man, will you? Oh, yes, you. perhaps I can make you understand it. French. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui. Bien. <laughs> Vous avez étudié dans un pension? Ah, oui, oui. Bah. Yeah. <laughs> Combien de gens habitez-vous dans le tourbar à Paris? Oui, oui. Hey, Abbott, I bet he runs out before I do. <laughs> Quiet, will you please? Now, look here. You might as well know it, old boy. I'll never permit Miss Barry to attend your dinner. Oh, yeah? There's Miss Barry now. Hello, Lynn, my darling. Oh, it's me, Mrs. Niles. Am I late? Yeah, by about 40 years. <laughs> what is this, witch's night out? Costello, please. Boy, you sure get around. What do you got, a sea card for your broom? <laughs> oh, stop, Costello. Uh, Mr. Treacher, yeah. I'd like to have you meet uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ken Niles. Which one is Mrs. Niles? <laughs> now, wait a minute, what? Treacher. What? I don't go for that. Not to lie. After all, which one is Mrs. Niles? These people are friends of mine. Ooh. All of them are friends of mine. Which one is Mr. and Mrs. Niles? How do you like that, Abbott? Good. Good for you, Costello. You keep out of this, Kenneth. (laughs) Kenneth, are you... (laughs) Kenneth, are you going to stand for this? Costello is trying to make a man out of me and a woman out of you. Maybe we'd be happier that way. (laughs) Will you please stop those fights? I've heard enough, Costello. I could never allow Miss Barry to associate with an illiterate like you. Ah, gee, Treacher. Don't keep Lynn Barry away from my house. You don't seem to really know me. I don't seem to really know you? <laughs> you corpulent little corporal. Do you realize you just spit an infinitive? Why, does it show? Yes. <laughs> no, you dummy. He's correcting your grammar. You made a mistake. Who made a mistake? Now listen here, Mr. Creature. When the adjective modifies the predicate adverb, then the pronoun of the subjunctive mood modifies the dangling participle, leaving the infinitive un. Do you know what I mean, Treacher? Certainly. Then explain it to me. <laughs> Costello, you're not going to get Lynn Barry this way. You know that. Gee, Mr. Treacher, I gotta have Lynn Barry here. I'm in love with her. She's my whole life. She means everything to me. I gotta have her. I can't live without her. Does she really mean that much to you? Yeah, she's the only one that can string my yo-yo. <laughs> Very well, she means that much to you. Let me see how you'd make love to her. Now, just imagine that Mrs. Niles here is Lynn Barry. What an imagination you got, brother. <laughs> Do what the man says. Take Mrs. Niles in your arms and kiss her. Oh, oh but Miss Rabbit, in my whole life, I, I've only been kissed by two parties. Yes, ma'am. The Democrats and the Republicans. <laughs> That's enough. I thank you, Mother. <laughs> Um, come here, my proud beauty. Oh, I'm not proud. You're no beauty either. <laughs> well, Costello, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and kiss her. Not me. Treacher, if you know so much, you kiss her. I kiss her. Now, look here, that is, I mean, I really, I, mean, I mean, honestly, you can't really... Oh, what have that. you got to lose? There'll, there'll always be an England. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quiet, quiet. Now, Mr. Treacher, you show Costello the proper approach to kiss Lynn Barry. Take Mrs. Niles in your arms. All right, I'll do it. I have her in my arms. Now you put your what face... What do I do now? You put your face next to hers. Yes. Now your cheeks 
to cheat. Yes. From where I'm standing, it looks like a dead heat at Bay Meadows. Quiet. <laughs> now, now what do I do? Now, Treaty, you kiss her. And now what do I do? Give her back her teeth. 